Mental illness is the third most common disability in the Philippines, and it is estimated that 6 million Filipinos are suffering with depression and anxiety. Philippines has also the third highest rate of mental health problem in the Western Pacific region. There are common reasons why people are getting mentally ill. These issues are alcohol and drug misuse or abuse, family or relationship problems, and gender-based violence. But what makes this problem much bigger one? It is that lack of facilities and personnel capable to assist person with mental disability. As of December 2020, there are currently 412 psychiatrists here in the Philippines and there are 46 outpatient facilities and 4 community residential facilities. This figure out that there is a shortage of mental health specialists in the Philippines. We need to stand up right now because mental health is not a joke. This is a great problem that needs to be solved right now. So I'm here sharing this advocate video to give knowledge on how to treat person with mental health problem and ways on how to prevent from getting mentally ill. As what I have noticed in our community, People are being abhorrent or hating people who are mentally ill just because of their look or their smell. We should look deeper on their situations that we should not hate them. Rather, we should feel to them that they are not alone in dealing their problem in order to free their life of being mentally disabled. As a response of the government to protect the rights of every mentally ill person, they implement Philippine Mental Health Act that provides a right to freedom from discrimination, protection from torture, cruel, inhumane and degrading treatment, and right to offer care and rehabilitation. What are the ways in order for us to avoid getting mentally ill and what are the signs that we are having mental illness? If you are experiencing long-lasting sadness, excessive fear, worry or anxiety, extreme high and low moods, social withdrawal, and dramatic changes in eating or sleeping habits, then probably you are having a symptoms of mental illness. What should we do so that we can eradicate the possibility of being mentally disabled? First, eat healthy foods, sleep a right amount of time, and do exercise regularly. Second, talk about your feelings. If you have problems, don't be ashamed of telling this to your family or friends. Third, avoid excessive use of alcohol and cigarettes and refrain from taking any illegal drugs. And lastly, seek for a physician or a psychiatrist for a regular checkup for your mental health and for your overall health as well. I am Judy Ann Malubag, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. First year student of International School of Asia and the Pacific. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'm hoping that you've learned something about mental issues and how to handle it and the treatment for people experiencing this kind of health problem. Just keep it on our mind that this is not a joke and whenever we may encounter people having this problem, we should respect them like how we respect normal people. Thank you and God bless.